What's up everybody? This is Jesse Linares with the Sam Via Art Team. A lot of today's trends are predicated on deep interior texture and loose ends and lots of movement going on within the shape. And I don't know if you're anything like me, but a lot of times I'm trying to point cut to achieve that textured result and I'll point cut it, I'll drop it back down and take a look and I'll find myself sometimes even two, maybe even three times having to go at it again, never really quite getting the deep interior movement that I'm looking for. So we came up with a way that we could work from the interior going out, removing length while at the same time creating deep interior texture. Let's look at how we do it. So we're just gonna get ourselves back in cutting position, elevating a section up vertically. And now let's look at the mechanics of this. Holding with good tension, I'm actually gonna take my hand and park it in a place that's safe. That way the shear can open and close without cutting me. I don't wanna to bleed today. And so the, how much texture we take out of the subsection will be determined by how shallow or how deep we actually open the shear. So I'm gonna park this in one spot and just scan my way across the section, opening the shear to different ranges to control how much bite I get on the interior. So here's a shallow one to start us off. Here's a long one. There's a medium one. Long again and short. There's no rhyme or reason to how it's done. Totally up to you and the texture statements you'd like to create. But working my way across the section, creating deep interior texture while at the same time removing length. A point cutting from the outside definitely creates movement on the ends, but it just doesn't allow me to get quite as deep as I did just there. I'll take another section. How much texture you create, totally up to you. Looking for where I just left off and then working the same way. Here's a series of medium strokes and then some short ones. And that allows me to get super deep inside that subsection. So I'm just gonna continue my way around the head working the same way and we'll talk again once we've completed that. All right, and what we're left is, is a lot of deep interior texture, deeper than we could have gone in just point cutting alone. So let's give her a little air and see what it looks like. Triple Dry 15 from Redken, one of my favorites, a dry texturizing spray. Comes out with a, a triple atomizer that really focuses the airflow and hits really light, but delivers a lot of texture. All right, and here's what we're left with. Deep interior texture, deeper than we could have gone with just point cutting alone. Working through the interior really allowed us to bite at different varying lengths through the subsection while also taking off the length that we wanna remove. Just finished her off with a little bit of Redken's Triple Dry 15 just to give her some light airy movement and a little bit of dusty texture. So just to recap, we were working through the interior of the section because we weren't really able to get the deep interior movement we wanted by point cutting on the ends alone. So we elevated vertically, parked our hand in a safe place, which is one of the most important things. Don't close that on the hand that's holding the hair. And then by how little or how wide we open the shear as we scan across that vertical section, we're gonna get varying lengths of deep interior texture while we also disappeared the length. So as always, friends, we hope that you find this information at least interesting and at the very best useful in your world of hair. So please get out there and try the things we've shown. Check us out on social too. We have gazillions of free videos and tutorials for you just waiting for you to come get it. Please join us online, on the road, and in the salon. I'm Jesse Linares with the Sanvia Art Team.